Yeah, so my EIP, I basically work with ELL kids, which is English language learners, and so I've already had experience with um, languages. I'm bilingual in Russian already, and I'm taking Spanish 5 in my school. So with the Seal of Biliteracy, you, um, there are kind of three levels that you have to take to in order to earn that. So you take a test, which kind of scores your ability in comprehension, in reading, listening, speaking, and writing. And then um, I did that for both Spanish and Russian. And then um, you also have to like kind of implement cultural immersion hours. I believe it is 10 hours uh, for the language. And um, also you have to write a paper. The seal of my literacy and also EIP has really helped me into kind of uh, prepare me for my future since I am um, planning to attend a four year university to double major in Spanish and psychology, which I think like my EIP has been like the best fit for that. So it's a really incredible experience that I get to have just such a close match to what I want to do in my future. I also work with Ukrainian students that um, came here from Ukraine and they might not know the language that well and I could use my Russian to help um, teach them in English and kind of adapt that. How many years Five. Five. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> So my mom is actually uh, from Belarus, which is a former part of the Soviet Union, and um, I lived in Russia from about the ages of one to four. So I've, and my dad is American, so I learned um, English and Russian around the same time. And uh, when I came back to America, when I was like around five years old, I did have challenges in learning English, and so that's kind of where I can relate to Ksenia and uh, the other like the other students I have. Тебе нравится школа тут? Эх, да, тут вообще прогулки людей, и развлекушки в этом классе. Yes, she loves it. There is always something happening here. <laughs> Um, it's honestly so special because I could see like the little me in her, I think. It's just uh, incredible to see um, the connection we can make just through our cultural, uh, like through cultural standpoints, and but also our languages. Because I came from kind of a Belarusian environment and Ukraine is very similar to that. And so it's really cool to kind of see um, how I was when I was younger. What do you think about America now? I think about America she wants more friends from her country. So we connect a lot through, I think, like through playing games and through like doing activities together. And it's just really fun getting to interact with her through that. And also seeing her interact with her friends as well and kind of helping that connection. Yeah, I was thinking absolutely that I was going to do Spanish. Like, I had no idea that I would be using my Russian at all. Like, because Russian is not like a typical language that you would find here in Missouri. And so um, it was so surprising when um, I think there were two Ukrainians here um, coming in not knowing English very well. And so it was just an absolute like coincidence and match that this happened to me. So, yeah. The Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday.